Well, hey guys, we're here in the world of solutions and I get a chance for a behind the scenes look to understand what goes into the Network Operations Center, the very foundation of technology that every single vendor and attendee depends on, and we certainly do at Cisco TV as well. And I've got a chance to be us. It's Tobias. Tobias, okay, yes. I'll make sure I said it correctly, is here. Cool. He is, was one of the advanced team members. He and one other person have been here for almost over two weeks yeah. setting this up exactly. to get the network running. And so I want to just, let's do this chronologically, if that's okay with you, and to kind of go back and go, when it comes to planning for an event like this, when do you guys start? Uh, realistically, I think it was uh, my colleague Remco. He starts around, uh, I think, summer. Yeah. Already planning for the event, uh, looking at the floor plans, uh, having an idea where needs to, what needs to go where. But uh, the network itself, we started in December. Okay. We took uh, two times out of our schedules. We met in Amsterdam, physically gathered together with a core group of engineers all over Cisco, and uh, pre-staged the network, built the network, uh, set up the cores, uh, tested it all, tested it all out, and then uh, packed it back. Up to to okay. ship it over to Barcelona. But you guys use the latest scalable and tested technology, similar to what our customers might do, and you're saying you guys built the entire network out in the lab, make sure it's all working and performing to the specifications that you have set for yourselves, and then you pack it all back up and ship it out at the appropriate time to rebuild on site. Did I get that right? We are happy that we don't need to buy a list price, so right. you can. we have a good, uh, good chunk of gear that we can use and have at our disposal. We are having around uh, 500, nearly 500 switches uh, here on site okay. because we rebuilt the whole network, right. uh, the wired network at least. We just took over some access points from the venue, okay. but the wired network is all done by Cisco okay. uh, in this uh, two weeks time frame. Yeah. And uh, you're right, we are using uh, latest technology. We are using the Catalyst 9500 okay, nice. and the 9300 for the first time. That's nice to hear. I did not realize you're using those. Okay, 92 and 95s. Last year we used uh, 6500 and uh, we know that a lot of customers will learn the 6500, so did right. we. It's a great platform. It gave us the scale we needed. Yep. And uh, this year, one big change for us was that we are going IPv4, IPv6 dual stack. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, that means that every client that is dual stack enabled will not have one IP address, but four. So that means you need to have double the, uh, four times the TCAM size. Yeah. And that's why we are using the 9500H high performance, the UADP3. Excellent, okay, so just getting an idea real quick, we get spoiled here at the load that you guys can handle, because you go to other conferences and this kind of investment's not made, even other networking conferences. From a wireless perspective, which tends to be the first place most of us notice if something's working or not, you guys went 5G only this year. I, I heard there was some 2.4 in the background. Yeah, so but, we, uh, we, any, what do we need to know about the wireless? Yeah, so the wireless, um, it's all Cisco access points. Of course, but we are sticking to a local mode, meaning all the wireless traffic is back out to the central controllers. Okay. And then it's dropped off to the 9500 I talked about. Okay. Um, we are doing five gigahertz only for the main conference SSID. Right. So to prevent uh, devices from needing to roam over to, uh, to 2.4. But we also provide 2.4 as a separate SSID okay. for legacy clients. Uh, but the statistics show that uh, nearly, I think it was 86% of clients yeah. are now on uh, 11 oh. AC. Yep, yep. We're so still that's fully on the five and yeah, that as yeah. well. So that's quite impressive. Yeah, maybe in a couple of years we're going to start seeing 2.4 come back, but probably not for the devices we're carrying, of course. It's going to yeah. be for more of the IoT stuff. And uh, Oh, there was a story before I forget. Yes, there was a story of you guys having a little cooling problem when you first got going. Do you mind telling me that real quick? Oh, yeah. Because when we set it up all in uh, Amsterdam, we had all the gear that we have now here uh, around the venue. Yeah. We had it all in one place. And that lab completely, uh, power um, cooling went out. So we needed to improvise. Uh, we needed, uh, we just took a, a spare 6500 we had, pulled out the line cuts and just used the chassis as a fan. Just for the fans? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that was a really quiet fan as well. No, it <laughs> was. Uh, <laughs> it's like you can't think when you get that kind. So yeah. that, and that's normal for you guys. You build a fully redundant network. Yeah. You have to be ready for every eventuality. Even though you plan it to death, I'm sure that things still happen like they would for anything, of course, right? Of course. So for example, we had the problem in the labs. Yeah. They reimaged the laptops for 800 laptops, but they had duplicate MAC addresses on the Hyper-V network adapters. Okay. Okay. And yep. you can imagine that. Uh, yeah, you had to work to get those all reconnected. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. 
So that, you just never know what it's going to be. That's the stuff that you can't plan for. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one thing I always love, and you guys do it here as well, is you have a, an event that I think is already sold out, but you get all the engineers that are involved for each specialty uh, of their technology set, and they kind of rehash the statistics and stuff like that at the end. You know, we're only on Wednesday. We've still got a full day left here, and then plus tomorrow. This is a huge event. For anybody that has a chance to come by and check out at the end of the World of Solutions, all the way inside the Cisco Showcase, I think we call it now, not the campus. Uh, come back here to the back and you can see real-time screens, everything happening, happening in the Network Operations Center. It's the exact same screens that they're using. Uh, all the engineers we have squirreled away underneath there somewhere in a basement. We'll get a look at that as well for you. Yeah? We are not in the basement, it's actually. It's not a basement? No, oh, okay, good, correct me. Okay. But we don't get daylight. Okay. It's in the back of house, near the, near the keynote. Okay, you yeah. guys are getting spoiled. Okay, all right. That's very good. Tob Tobias? Tobias. Tobias. Tobias, we'll get it right. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate Let's all enjoy. the hard work you and your yeah, team are doing. You. Guys, come check out the knock here at the back of the World of Solutions. We'll see you soon.